Hi, I'm Brian. Sometimes our customers ask if it is possible to back up network attached drives through CrashPlan. If you're on Windows, unfortunately that's not supported. But if you're on Mac, you can absolutely do that. I'll show you how. There are some considerations to keep in mind when you're backing up network attached storage. One I'd like to point out is that CrashPlan cannot get real-time file information from a network attached storage device and must rely on the file verification scan to update the to-do list. For this reason, you may want to increase the frequency of your file verification scan. You may want to check the other considerations on our support article called Backup Networked Storage or NAS Devices. To back up a network storage drive, you first need to make sure that it is mounted. There are a couple different ways to do this, and I'll show you both of them. The first way is through the Disk Utility app. Open Spotlight by clicking on the magnifying glass in the upper right of your screen, or by pressing Command plus Space. Type in Disk Utility and open the app. From the Disk Utility window, locate your drive on the left-hand side. In my case, I don't have a network drive, so I created a disk image that should work the same way. If you see an eject symbol next to the name of your drive, then it is already mounted. If you do not, we'll need to mount it. Right click on the name of your drive. In the context menu that appears, you should see the option to mount the drive. Click on that and your drive should then be mounted and available to be backed up by CrashPlan. In my case, we see the unmount option. If you see this, your drive is already mounted. If for some reason you need to mount the drive through the command line rather than through the UI, you can do that too. We'll walk through it using Terminal. First, you'll need to identify where your drive is located. To do this, we'll use the diskutil list command. Since my volume is named network storage, my command looks like this. diskutil space list space pipe space grep space network slash space storage. The slash is necessary in there because I have a space in the name of my volume. If you have any spaces in the name of your volume, place a slash before them to tell your computer that there should be a space in the name. In the output, we can see that the volume's location is disk3s1. The location of your volume may be different, so you'll want to use whatever is output from your command. Using the diskutil mount command along with that location, we get diskutil space mount space disk3s1. When we enter this command, we see that the drive is successfully mounted, meaning it can now be backed up. Now that we have mounted the storage, let's make sure that it remains mounted, even after a restart. To do this, we'll open System Preferences. From System Preferences, we'll click on General. Under the General tab, you should see Login Items. If you do not see this, you may be on an earlier version of macOS. In that case, you may find Login Items under Users and Groups. Wherever you find it, click on Login Items. At the top, you should see a box of items to open at Login. We want to add our network storage here so that it is automatically mounted when we log in. Click the plus at the bottom. In the window that appears, click on your network storage drive on the left, under Locations, to select it, then click Open to add it to the list of login items. You should now see your storage listed as a volume set to open at login. This will ensure CrashPlan has access to it after a reboot. Now that we've mounted the storage, all we need to do is to make sure that CrashPlan is set to back it up. Open your CrashPlan app and click on the Manage Files button to check your file selection. Click on the name of your machine at the top of the file selection to show all the available volumes on that machine. Then make sure there is a check in the box next to your network storage volume. For step-by-step -step instructions on changing your file selection, check out our How to Modify Your CrashPlan Backup File Selection video. Once you've added the volume, save your file selection and CrashPlan should begin scanning and add the files at the new location to its to-do list. You now know how to mount a network drive and back it up with CrashPlan. If you have any questions or you run into any difficulty with this process, our support team is standing by. We're always happy to help.